Hey everybody, in this video I want to talk about decimal to hex and hex to decimal. So if we look at these very simple formulas, it's h or hex to decimal, just like you see. And if I convert this hex value or hex number to a decimal, by using this function you can see it's 165. Now if I take that same a5 and I say decimal to hex, so I'm just basically outputting the value of 165 here. And I'm saying, what is the decimal to hex equivalency? And it is A5. And you may be saying, okay, well, that's great. That is straightforward. Well, what is a practical or Apple uh, actual use case to where I might be able to use this in a power app? And so a good example of this is sliders. And so this slider represents, um, I've named the slider R, and then the middle slider I've named G, the last slider I've named B, you might be seeing where I'm going with this, RGB colors, ooh, mm. So interesting, we can take and convert the value for this label, if I can find it, is it I always forget if it's text or if it's default. And I can just take the R value and I can make it, uh, I'm sorry, we can make the label the value for the slider, which is R dot value. And so if we look at the slider itself, we can see that on the slider control mechanisms, the minimum is zero and the max is 255. And so that's because there is a color spectrum of zero to 255 for RGB if we're looking at regular artistic programs. I'm gonna share this uh, color picker, let's see here, color pickle, yeah, color picker panel. And here you see RGB, right? So you got 255, uh, you know, as I move this around the spectrum here, change this and shift it down, you can see my values get changed. But then down here, there's a hex representation of the color and so all this is is a conversion of this decimal into its two-digit hex counterpart. And that's exactly what I'm doing here in its text value, if I can ever find it. I'm simply doing a decimal to hex conversion on this label, which is 255 or its value. And I'm simply saying, hey, what is the hex equivalency? And then for this label, all I'm doing is saying, oh, Lord have mercy, why does it default to the other ones? All right, I'm concatenating a string that says, here's a pound symbol, and this is the um, red hex value plus the green hex value plus the B or blue hex value. And I'm just concatenating all of that together. And now I've got a shape over here, which is a box, and I'm setting its fill property to be that of this label output. And I'm saying color value, hex color V, because that's what I've named this label right here, right? And so I'm taking its text property and I'm converting it to a color. So watch what happens when I play it. As I move the slider, the values are changing. So I'm able to use this function in a multitude of ways on several different instances, but yet independently they work, but in unison they go to build a much bigger system. So this is kind of the idea behind componentry. You build the parts that make up the whole, and so that's kind of the same thing here. And so I'm able to configure each of these using this functionality just to, for the purposes of demonstrating how you might need to use this. There could be other use cases, of course, but uh, this was like the simplest and easiest for, I think, most to understand and wrap their mind's eye around. So with that being said, that is it for this video. I hope it was helpful. You can download the sample code from the link in the description below. That's it. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.